Welcome to Aman Jaiswal's YouTube channel. In the last video, I told you about the playback menu. I think there are too many menus to squeeze into one video. So today I will tell you about the photo shooting menu. To go into this, we have to press the menu button and toggle to the photo shooting menu. First thing in this menu is the reset photo shooting menu. So if you want to reset this menu back to its default settings, you can use this. This will only reset the photo shooting menu and not the entire camera setting. They will remain the same. The next menu is the storage folder. This is where all your images are stored. There is a default folder called the NCZ7. You can rename this folder using any five characters. For example, I have renamed the folder on my camera to AJNZ7. This is just an example. You can put anything. Now under the main folder AJNZ7, you can have multiple subfolders. The default prefix for the subfolders is 100. The additional folders can be numbered between 100 and 999. Now the question is why should you have more than one folder on your memory card? This is because you may be a wedding photographer or a social event photographer and you would like to have multiple folders so that when you come back from the shoot, you don't have to open each and every folder and separate the photographs from different shoots and create folders. This is because the camera allows us to choose the folder which we want to use for storing the photographs. Now that you have files and they have names, now if you are shooting with sRGB color space, the file has a default number that is DSC underscore 1234. But if you are shooting with Adobe RGB color space, the default name will be underscore DSC 1234. So it's easy for you to identify which format the photograph is. The next item on the menu is choose image area. Now the Nikon Z72 is an FX camera which means it is the full frame sensor which has 36 into 24 millimeters. I usually choose this to shoot because it gives me the best view. The other modes which are available in this menu are square image but if you want to shoot the DX on the crop sensor you can also do that and if you are shooting a video it could be at 16 to 9 ratio video format. Now the next thing is the image quality. There are different types of images that you can shoot. First is the raw file which is the NEF file used by Nikon or you can have the JPEG image. Now there are many different choices under the JPEG which I will explain in a little while and also you could choose a combination of raw and JPEG. Now if you see in the JPEG there are three choices fine, normal and basic. Under fine, normal and basic, there are two individual choices for each. The difference between fine and basic is fine is the better quality than normal and normal is the better quality than basic. Now you all know that JPEG is a compressed file format and Nikon uses two different algorithms to compress the file. Now that you see the choices that have star with them will give priority to the image quality and the choices that do not have a star with them uses the algorithm which gives the image size the priority. You can choose depending on which format you want to use. Now let's come to the image size. Here you choose between JPEG, RAW. This will depend on how much space you are using on your card and also the resolution of your image. So you can use the large, medium or small file size. The raw file sizes are also different and you can see them from here. Now for the raw file recording, you have three compression possibilities. First of all, you can have no compression at all. So the raw file gets saved to your card because it has no compression, it has the largest possible size. But if you want a smaller file size, you can use one of the two compression. If you see the option in the center called compress, this compresses the raw file. However, this compression uses an algorithm which is not easy to decompress in your software. Softwares like Lightroom, Photoshop, etc. And so there is some loss in the decompression. And if you want the file to be read in Lightroom or Photoshop or any other raw processor, we should use the first option lossless compression. This compresses the image in such a manner where there is no loss when the file is opened in the editing software. It might take a little longer to open but there is no loss. The next is the bit depth of the raw file. This is mainly to do with the color's depth. The 14 bits gives you more than the 12 bits and so it is going to be a larger file. 
Thank you for watching my video. In the next video, I will take you through the other functions of this menu. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon so that when I upload my next video, you can get notified and please do not forget to comment.